Of course, you've got many years ahead of you. Is, is there anything, is there anything that, that uh, you still want to do? Is there anything that you, uh, you uh, are like, oh, before, you know, I d like next year, I'd love to do what? No, no, because I really don't know what's out there. I, 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 I love to work at film. I love mm -hmm. film. I, but now it seems as though what's happening here, uh, mm -hmm. they're not writing much for older people, older mm -hmm. black people. Mm -hmm. Um, the Americans are not coming. There was a time I survived on what I get from the Americans, right? Mm -hmm. uh, Stage-wise, mm, you know, we, we, we haven't been drawn into. Mm -hmm. I mean, people used to say, well, you have your own theater. Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> you know, even my own theater, our own people, two theaters I tried to form. Mm -hmm. I mean, the last one there, uh, I got a role mm -hmm. once by default because the person they wanted to do it dropped out. And I'm a founding member. I put my mm -hmm. money into this. Mm -hmm. Do you find, uh, okay, I'll touch on this briefly. Um, uh, uh, how do you find the, uh, the diverse community or the black community in, in Toronto? Are, are we generally supportive or do you find, what do you think? You mean? Are we supportive uh, of each other, or do you find? No, 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 no. See, there's there's a thing used to happen. In the early days, I used to tell guys what was happening. Mm -hmm. Okay, I heard about something. I call, what not? Mm -hmm. They wouldn't tell me anything. But I was convinced that if we get other people into it, they can say, "Well, mm -hmm. we don't have enough people to put on what right. you want." Mm -hmm. That was my thinking. Mm -hmm. Listen. You can't play what I play mm -hmm. the same way I play it. Mm -hmm. Somebody would look at you different from the look at me. I mean, I mean, they may call you ugly, mm -hmm. call me handsome. Another person would say, call you handsome, call me ugly. Mm -hmm. Some people might see us both as handsome. Some people might see us both as ugly. Mm -hmm. Some people can't hear. Another thing is uh, accent. Mm -hmm. If you pay me, I do it. Americans hire <laughs> me. Yeah. I remember one American director came up uh, and he was so profuse in, in, in thanking me for coming to the audition. Mm -hmm. right. Then the role I read for, they, had to, they asked me to come back to it. I got another. He again, and he thanked me for being in the forefront of mm -hmm. the, the fight up here mm -hmm. for black actors. No, yeah. he, he obviously did his homework. Right, yeah. And he said it almost you know, mm -hmm. tearing up. He said it again on the set. Right. You know, mm -hmm. uh, th things I'd like to do is 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 work more. That's all. Is work is is the thing. Mm -hmm. I've tried writing, but I'm I don't <laughs> have. The I I tend to be want to be perfect and try to write the scene. I don't have. You have to let go of yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah you have yeah. to. F f don't even get me started on that. My my my. I, I'm good at scene scene study and choosing scenes and how to mm, right. work with the scene and, mm -hmm. and developing stuff. I'm very good at that. Right. I know it. Um, people, I've had times, okay, one of the, f the, the, the things I'm well known for, somebody asked me some time ago to, if I'm an actor, yes, they heard I'm an actor. Mm -hmm. So they Googled me and <laughs> one of the things they said, best known for my heritage minute. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Which the family right. loved. They adored it. They really right. loved it. Anyway, the, let's I talk about the heritage moment. So the, you played uh, in this heritage moment in this commercial. You yeah. played somebody who was yeah, the Spring Hill Mines. Right, Maurice Roddick. He he was uh, a black Nova Scotian in the mines. Which mm -hmm. every time you see them say this thing on on the History Channel, they show you a white guy. Yeah, they show you a white guy, hmm. but he was a black man. Hmm. Okay, so. He, for nine days they were on the ground and he would sing. Mm -hmm. They called him a singing mine. They keep their spirits up and got them to drink in urine and all that mm. to survive. Right. So they credited him with their survival. Mm -hmm. At the end of that, the Americans thought these guys were heroes mm -hmm. and invited them down for a vacation or something. Mm -hmm. Not the black man. He had to say separated them. Wow. And he says, no, you guys go ahead. It's wow. okay. Wow. That was Marsh Ruddock. Right. So this was, um, as a matter of fact, it's in the it was in the Heritage Museum in Ottawa. Mm -hmm. You're going through, you could see 
-hmm. My son and my grandson are proud of that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good. So, yeah, so um, when I was doing that, it was done in French and English. In mm -hmm. the morning, I was suggesting to the director, you know, there's a certain way to do it. Mm -hmm. No, we don't have time. We don't have time. We don't have time. So, hour and a half, now, two and a half hours, lunch, came mm -hmm. back now to do the French side of it. Mm -hmm. Now, I had to be studying in French. There were f three versions in French. Right. One was Joal, one was half, and one was proper. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> they couldn't decide really? what they wanted. Yeah. Really? Okay. So, anyway, I, they settled on one. And I said to him, listen, I really want to do what I tried. When I did it, he says, well, why didn't you insist? <laughs> right. Because it worked better the way I suggested. Right. Yeah. I've w also worked with directors, uh, and I've s suggested, too, that, you know, I just like to try it my way. For them. Sometimes mm -hmm. they do, and they like it. Yeah. Because some directors acknowledge that if any w actor worth his salt comes there prepared, mm -hmm. he knows what he's talking about. Yeah. Whereas the director may know, yeah. but he may not know enough about that one particular actor. Yeah. Some directors just come and they point the cameras and, and let you run. <laughs> you yeah, know? exactly. Yeah. yeah. Huh. And that's a good thing for young actors to know. Yeah. One, yeah. one thing I remembered, uh, this is something uh, I've got to tell you this, mm -hmm. about the West Indian thing. I worked with Billy, Billy D. Williams a few times. Right? Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Okay. Once on this set, so he says, oh, Arden, how are you doing? I say, where are you from? I say, where are you from? So he says, well, he has a West Indian background. His grandmother was from... Okay. From uh, Montserrat or someplace. Oh, I really? said, <laughs> yeah. He said, that's where she brought me up. She kept me off the streets, man. Right. She taught me my manners and everything and then made sure I was on the mm -hmm. right track. So he said, so do you, did you uh, do anything about the Queen's birthday and stuff like that? I said, yes. Queen's birthday, we used to sing, land of hope and glory. <laughs> Ma really? You know, he sang the whole thing. Really, did he? More than I knew. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yes. That's hilarious. Yes. Oh, man. Lando Calrissian mm. sings the Queen I, soon. Yeah. yeah. I once did another thing with him. Mm. I, I got a higher billing than he did. R really? Mm. Oh, what was this? I got to look this up. Moving Target. Moving Target. Yeah. Huh. I, I was doing a play in Winnipeg. Okay. And I knew I was supposed to do this thing. Mm -hmm. And my mother passed away. Okay. So I had to fly out, fly out the Friday. Mm -hmm. The director had done the piece, my role before, mm -hmm. Marvin Ishmael, West Indian piece. So he decided to do it for the last couple of performances. So I flew out, went to St. Vincent, had my mother interred the Sunday. They told me, no, you can't have, you can't, no, they don't do that. Mm -hmm. I went and I spoke with the priest. Oh, of course, Arden, sure. So, mm -hmm. <laughs> so then I had to fly back. Mm -hmm. To start, I was supposed to start the, m the Tuesday, yes. I was supposed to come back. And so they picked me up at the airport, brought me directly to the set. Mm -hmm. So I worked there un until Christmas Eve day. Wow. But you know, six months later, I realized I was almost getting depressed. I realized I had not mourned my mother. Mm -hmm. So I worked all throughout that mm -hmm. period. So. Mm. And that was pretty hard. So did you finally find a time to mourn? Yes. Yeah. I, at that time when I realized it, I, I mm. did. Yeah. I did. I was her only child, so I had to go. Oh, My children okay. went. So. Mm. 